let ChatGPT do your job for you. ChatGPT can save you hours in your job if you just learn how to use it properly instead of using it for simple questions and making it write poems for you about weird things. Even if I've started using ChatGPT for simple things like basic questions and some things for my YouTube channel, I still feel like I haven't grasped the full potential of what ChatGPT can be used for. So I thought that together, you and I will explore the true extent of what ChatGPT can help us with in our jobs. Maybe we should just start with asking ChatGPT. So as you can see, there's quite a broad list of things that ChatGPT can help us with. Let's dig into translation. Because that is a continuous problem in my work, because a lot of companies here in Sweden work in both Swedish and English, and sometimes you need to translate text in between. So let's try finding a text in Swedish. <clears throat> okay, here we have the text, and let's just ask ChatGPT to translate it. And although you might not understand the Swedish text, you should probably understand if the English text is with the right grammar and wording, because that's, you know, is the most interesting part of this, I think. From what I can see this far, everything is pretty much correct. I haven't seen a tool that even compares to this, so this is just amazing. The way I see it with Swedish, it's not a, a huge language across the world, it's quite a small language. So it's just amazing that ChatGPT can do this with Swedish because, you know, not many other tools even have Swedish. So yeah, it's, it's just amazing. Okay, and looking at this text, let's try another one of the areas that ChatGPT could do. So let's try summarization. So let's ask ChatGPT if it can summarize this text. So here we have a very shortened version of this text. When you're writing text, sometimes it becomes too long and you need to fit it into a page and you need to shorten it down or whatever it could be, or it's just that you need to include it in an executive summary in your uh, report or in your PowerPoint presentation. You can just have ChatGPT do it for you. So you don't even have to write it for yourself. This will save me a lot of time. So something that I could be doing in my job is maybe write a job ad for a junior consultant as a firm. So let's just try that and see what it comes up with, like creating some kind of content completely from scratch. I think this is so funny. If you can't tell, like I, I'm super passionate for, for this tool because it's so helpful. I really, really like it. And I think it's just amazing that technology has come to this has come to this state that it's in. Like this is something completely different to everything else that I've ever seen. So as you can see, here I have a foundation for a job I, that I could write, which has, you know, all of the these different areas already filled in. So responsibilities, requirements and preferred qualifications, which is super nice to just have a look at and see what ChatGPT comes up with and then I can go in and change this as I like and of course tailor it to our conditions that we have at our firm and what we want to see. And I think this is also super helpful for things, you know, like when you're going to explain a concept. Um, please explain carbon capture. Here we have a full explanation of carbon capture that I could just copy paste into whatever presentation or report that I would need it for. So instead of me having to write all of this, having to research it, find the best way of explaining it, adapting it to my own thinking, I can just copy paste this pretty much straight as it is. Okay, so another thing that I know ChatGPT can do is data analysis. So let's just try it out, see what ChatGPT can help us with. So I found this database of, so horrible, but airplane crashes um, from 2016. So I can just copy this into here and say, uh, um, please analyze this data. Okay, so just when I phrase it like that, it just explains the data pretty much. But maybe we can still ask it something else, like... Uh, so here it highlighted a couple of other things. Wide range of locations and types of aircraft, from helicopters to commercial airlines. Yeah, that would have been something that I had no idea about, since I, I don't know anything about airplane crashes. But ChatGPT now said to me that it's both ha helicopters, commercial airlines and military transport planes. So that gives me definitely some insights to this data. And then it just states the cause of the incidents are not provided in its data, so it's difficult to draw any conclusions about the most common causes of plane crashes. Which is true, you know? Like, just me looking at this data, 
it's not that much that you can say about it, but ChatGPT still managed to help me a bit, which is super nice. So another thing that I realized that I had a real challenge with in a previous project, so I tried to find a list of all of the Swedish municipalities and what region that they belong to. It's not like I spend huge amounts of time looking at this, but you know, I searched the web, I didn't find it, so I had to manually copy paste the municipalities and then look up what region they belong to. But I'm thinking this might be something that ChatGPT can help me with. So I will just ask it and see if it can provide me with this data. I'm so excited. Okay, it looks good, looks good. Oh my God. This would have saved me so much time in that project. Oh, so nice. Now I could just have taken this list and just copy pasted that into Excel without having to manually uh, input some things by myself. Cool, cool, I really like that. The more I'm learning about ChatGPT, the more excited I get about the possibilities it has. But at the same time, I'm wondering a bit like, what are the risks with using such a tool? Most companies have rules that state that you can't put any type of, you know, like personal data, confidential data, company-based data into any tools that the company does not have control over. However, if it's any type of data that you know is it's general data, like I showed with carbon capture or whatever it could be, or like a general email, then of course, like no problem. But I would personally refrain from using it with any type of, you know, like confidential data because it shouldn't be there. Another area that you should be careful about is in regards to new or very recent information because from what I understood, ChatGPT is trained on data from the internet up until 2021. So that means that it's probably not the best tool to show you about, you know, like trends or whatever is happening that is very related to new things, but it can probably show, you know, like historical data, historical trends, that type of thing very accurately. And then of course we have the problem with bias. So of course an AI is not inherently biased, but however, data on the internet is biased. <laughs> and since this model is trained on a large amount of data on the internet, then there will be biases in the data. Just an example with YouTube titles. So ChatGPT will have seen a huge amount of YouTube titles and will give you tips and recommendations for YouTube titles based on that, but it probably won't give you the tips of the absolute best YouTube titles. And in that case, you know, that, that type of creative work that is probably just something that a human can come up with because otherwise you will get the average answer, which is fine in most cases. So just be a bit careful. And as with all things online, you can't just accept everything as straight as it is, but you have to make your own interpretation of everything. Okay, so something else that ChatGPT can help with is research. So for example, if your boss comes up to you and say like, okay, I want you to do a market analysis of the Swedish battery market. Oh my God, this is so good. So here you basically have a full list of what should be included in a market analysis. And then let's see if ChatGPT can also help us do this market analysis. ChatGPT has helped us make a first overview and can tell us like where to look. So for example, the market segments. This is super nice information. And even though, you know, you could have come up with that on your own, it's still super helpful to just get someone to tell you like, this is the way it looks, this is what you could look into. You could do one PowerPoint slide about the market size, one PowerPoint slide about the market segments, maybe one slide per segment, one slide about the competitive landscape and you know, all of these things. And then you have a full presentation pretty much. And I guess it also can help you start with some sources. So here we have a start with the sources as well. This gives you a super good start and helps you a bit on what you should look at and where you can start looking. And I guess you can probably even ask, you know, like follow up questions about this as well. So really helpful. And you know, like this part, this is probably already the executive summary. <laughs> okay, so something else that ChatGPT said it could help with is proofreading and editing. 
let's write about some kind of issue or problem because that's always difficult to formulize. For formulize for yeah, whatever. Formulate formulate, not formulize. Exactly my point of why I need this. <laughs> I mean, a situation that you could end up with is that someone asks you to do something that you don't really want or have time to do. So I just wrote this. So let's just ask ChatGPT to improve it for me. Okay, cool. So then it's just really professionalized my text, which is super nice. I think it sounds a bit negative. So let's see if it can help me to write it in a bo bit more positive sense. Yeah, okay, this is exactly what I need. Okay, so looking at this text, it was now improved to, you know, like the super professional version. And then uh, ChatGPT just made a positive version uh, of it for me as well. It's just amazing because I mean, this sounds so much nicer than the one up above. So these are just a few examples of what ChatGPT can help us with in our jobs. So to answer the question, can ChatGPT do our jobs for us? Yes, to a certain extent it can. And it will help you save loads of time in your work if you're starting to use it in the right way. However, AI will probably not replace people anytime soon because even if we can get all of this help from the AI at ChatGPT, it cannot replace a person, not yet. We need the creativity, we need an extra pair of eyes from a human that can just make sure that this is correct, like this is what we want to do and put it into the right context. During this video, large chunks of what I've said has come straight from ChatGPT without me making any changes from it. Do you know the difference of what came from me and what came from ChatGPT? Let's discuss it down in the comment section.